All right, so we are gonna really test out the power of the Galaxy S10 Plus today. Um, we're on our way to the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair and I packed up all of our camera equipment and in my haste, put the wrong lens on our good camera. So the Sony a6400 is gonna have to stay in the truck today because I put a portrait lens on it, like a big dummy. So we're gonna see how our cell phone does for this vlog and I think it'll do okay. It did okay for our vlog of um, Evergreen last night, so we'll see how it goes. But I apologize, we're not gonna have the good camera, but it, chill, it still should be good uh, quality video today. So we'll see what we get into. We're on our way, we're on the Pennsylvania Turnpike right now, and we'll be at the Renaissance Fair probably within about 30 minutes, and we'll start showing you around. Making our way in the entrance. It's a beautiful entrance. I always like the fountain. I like the fountain. There's a butterfly chair the kids like. The flowers are pretty. See a butterfly chair right here. Kenzie likes the butterfly chair. You like the butterfly chair? When you first walk in, they have like a wine shop to your left. And then they have this mansion here where they have dinners and plays. And then you just walk down here off to your right. And... You'll be at the entrance. There's the queen. Good day. So that area that we just walked through that you saw just a second ago is where you walk down the middle and you can get a bunch of food. And then over across from it, if you come down this way, this is where they have a bunch of their merchandise and clothing shops um, and where you can buy all your gear to wear to the fair. This little fountain area down here is pretty cool. What do you see, Julie? I was reading this. Lucy's hand created. Of course it had. I like these hats that are like this. I think they're cool. They have a lot of cool hats in here. This is the Dragon Orphanage. And this is where you can get anoles. And this is where we got our spiky poopy. We like this little guy. Make a bunch of hand blown glass. Looks like she's making a piece over there now. Here's the Captain's Quarter Tavern, and it's in a big pirate ship. They used to do, one of my favorite things they used to do here is they had a pirate auction. And they'd auction off a bunch of swords and stuff that you don't need to buy, but I thought was really cool. <laughs> and Julie's probably really happy that they don't do that anymore. Super happy. Another tavern called the Anchor and Mermaid. Looks like they have pot roast bangers and mash, lobster roll, and probably good beers. Really cool area where you can come um, and take pictures. We have a picture from last year here with the kids, but all they had was barrels. Now they have all these other cool props. Very cool. There's the chess stage, and they play human chess here. And they'll hold the Queen's Court here as well. No. 
Endgame. Sorry, wrong place. At Endgame. There's a place where you can get handmade swords and daggers and cutlery. Like Alright, so we made a mistake. We went to go get a drink and we forgot that if you have a credit card, you have to go actually get their cash. So you get these, you take your credit card to a little stand and they turn it into coin and then at the end of the day, what you don't use, they'll put it back on your card. So it's kind of like a way to pay for drinks and food and all the stuff that you can buy from the vendors. So we're headed there now so that we can get a drink and then go watch Don Juan and Miguel. And here we are. All right, so here is what they give you. Little coins to spend on all your items. And it comes in a little pouch. So we're ready to go buy some beer. There's all their different beers on the menu. They have a lot to pick from. So I got the stout, and Julie, what did you get? Uh, peach vanilla cider. I was going for something a little lighter. Is it up here? They have so much to pick from, but it's all very, very good beer. So now we're headed off to watch Don Juan and Miguel. Those guys are funny. <laughs> So that was Don, Juan, and Miguel. We really like them, but now we're hungry, so we're off, and we're gonna try to find something good to eat. So there's lots good to eat. They have lots of good food here. This will so probably be the first year we don't get turkey legs though, because we don't have the cake. Yeah, so lots of good meats to pick from. So I went with the chicken on a steak and the shrimp. So it's called the Surf and Turf. It looks pretty daggone good. Here's a little cute bookstore. We're gonna check out Cockney's Wine Oasis and see what kind of wine cocktails they have over here for Julie Bully. All right, so I got the Spiced Pineapple Dream, and it looks like this. It came in a souvenir Renaissance Fair cup. And, and I got you your traditional Moscow Mule. It was only three more dollars for the extra special cup, so we rolled with it. So it's hot out, so we need to keep drinking to stay hydrated. Water's next. Water's next, so. Hi. Cheers. We're excited. It's like down here, they have another place where you can get beer. We have an art store, a chocolate shop, and soup and bread. Let's go check out the art store. What do you say, Julie? Let's check out the art store. Let's check out the art. These are pretty cool door knockers here. Hey, you check the bag closely. 
Did you see the key when you looked in there? No? Okay, you gotta hold the key, alright? Yeah. No, that word I can't use it to get out of these stupid things, alright? Good. Here we go. Everybody count the three. Here we go. One, two, three. Four. Four. This is harder than it looks, alright? Break time. Cheers. Where'd it come from? The liquor store. Alright? Here we go. Everybody count the three. Here we go. One. Two, three, give them both a big round of applause. More clothing shops. And we're getting close to where all the games are. There's the mermaid. And look, they have live mermaids. There is the mud pit. Wow, it's gotten uh, fancier. They have added a lot of stuff to the mud pit. And then if you head up this direction is where all the games are. You can throw knives, axes, shoot bows and arrows. It's a lot of fun. Lots of stuff to do. But it gets very expensive pretty quick. Especially if you have kids because they want to do everything. Here's a little perspective of the game. So again, they have archery. Some sort of cannon game. I guess you throw balls and cannons. Did they have this star throw before? They did, it was just in a different spot. Okay. Where they have the star throw used to be the archery section. So now they have knife throwing, Axe throwing, star throwing, and darts. We have a cute little shop here at the front of the park again where you can get your little lords and your little princesses, all sorts of fun stuff for them to wear. I think we got, I think Gammy got the kids something from here before. Yeah. Bless you. Thank you. Reese got like a jester hat. Mackenzie got probably, I don't even know. I know Reese got a jester hat. Maybe she got wings or something. Hmm. This is a pretty cool fountain right when you walk in. All right, we just made a little bit of a pit stop back at the truck to drop off our drink cups so that way we didn't have to carry them around, right? <laughs> don't have to carry drink cups all around. Nope. Yeah, that wouldn't be fun. So now we're going to check out the winery and the distillery place and see what all they have in there. Then I think we're going to go to the jousting. I've never, I've come to this Renaissance Fair so many times and I've never watched the joust. That, it's probably a crime to do that. So we're checking out the joust today. Yay! All right, so now we are going to check out the Mount Hope Wine Shop. Julie likes wine. I like wine. I like all sorts of things. Let's check it out. Got lots of cups to pick from. Hello. Lots of different wines to pick from, and it looks like they have a tasting section in the back. Oh, they have words on them. Yeah, they all have words on them. Lots of really neat little glasses here. There's a mermaid wine glass. Mackenzie turns 21. <laughs> Some humorous shirts. They have lots of cool glasses and tons of stuff in here. So if you want to check out the Mount Hope Winery, definitely do that. Lots of good stuff. And I believe 
I believe this is open year round too. Kinda salty, Julie. Kinda salty. What mom was right about everything? Okay. Oh, <laughs> Is that for your tequila shots? All these interesting caramel flavors they have. Deep chocolate. Black lava sea salt. Yeah. There's the flavor family. Dark roasted mocha, ginger fusion, rosemary truffle. Tapped maple, single malt scotch. This is why it gets very expensive when you come here because they have <laughs> so many things you can buy and it's all good. It gets very expensive very quick. And we've never really stopped to olive oil and vinegar. That's pretty cool. The balsamic in here, olive oil. Definitely a plethora of items for you to purchase. What does that do? This is to get out of citrus, like lime or orange, to put in your drink, but it looks like a troll doll. Interesting. <laughs> Lots of stuff here, guys. They even have dips out that you can try. Um, mm. I didn't try the cheesecake one because I'm not big and sweet. But this Chardonnay dip is fantastic. It is good. This looks like their tasting menu, and right now you're good. Okay. And we are trying the Cabernet. Like they have a bunch of different ciders that you can purchase as well. So now we're going to go in and check out the distillery. I'm not sure how new this is, but I know we've never checked it out before, so let's go inside and see what they have. They have whiskey, vodka, gin. You have like your tequila friends. Oh, that's cool. All sorts of little shot glasses, decanters. I like this for whiskey. Cherry, grapefruit. That's cool. We have coconut rum and regular rum. The coconut rum looks really good. Spice rum. Peppermint schnapps. Yeah, so there's that. <laughs> so they do have a paid tasting that you can take part in. The coconut rum is probably the highlight. I got the crab cake sandwich with the Sweet Valley chips, which I love. But it looks like it's got lots of good crab meat on it. That looks awesome. Yeah. So, let's see. And I got another stout. How's it taste? Good. And I got my lunch. Another stout. Feel like getting your Harry Potter on? They have brooms. I don't see a Nimbus 2000 though, do you, Julie? I do not. No Nimbus. Sorry, guys. But Julie had a few drinks and she said she's ready for a nap, but I want to check out people hitting each other on horses. So we're going to check out the gels.
All right, so the joust was pretty cool. What do you think of the joust? It was cool. It was hot. It was really hot, but we stayed until the end, and it's not even over until what six? Six. So you have to return to see the end of who the true victor is. But that was my first time watching the joust, and I really enjoyed it. So time to get another beer. Water. Water for Julie. Beer for me. Yay! Yay! Next up to eat is pork wrapped in bacon with potatoes and cabbage, and it looks yummy. <laughs> Look at Julie, she looks like she's gonna steal my stuff. Nah. Don't Just steal my stuff, him. don't you steal Pick my stuff. Him. These are pretty cool. Little pieces of wood with faces and a fountain. We found a pirate store. So let's check out the pirate store. Pine cones. <laughs> More pirates. All right, so something weird is going on. What do you say, Julie? While we're here? While we're here. Yeah, we're, you, we're, we're being wrangled to adopt a puppy. Usually when we come to the Renaissance Fair, we end up having maybe a couple too many drinks, or Dad does. Dad does. Dad does. Dad does. Admittedly. And I usually buy stuff for the kids that they don't really need. And like in an anole. Like in an anole. So we have Spike. He's a lizard. He's awesome. We love him. But we somehow, throughout our adventures here today, are getting a new dog. We're applying. We're applying. We're, we're applying to adopt a puppy. And she's beautiful. And she's a beagle mix. And we're not sure what we're mixed with. But it's... Gammy filled the application out for us. So the application's already filled out, so it's looking like we're getting a new member to our family here shortly. If they approve us. <laughs> There's a bee on my hand, sorry. So, more to come on that. While we're here at the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair, we adopted a puppy. Yay! Yay! <laughs> it says, Edgar will take your donation and put it in his box. They have a dungeon that you can tour for like three dollars, but I've done it before. Eh. You have to pay to do this. All right, so that was our time at the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair. It was nice. It was hot. It was really hot today, but man, the best thing about being here is the food and the yes. drinks. They have really good beer and really good food. And really good wine. Really good wine. The coconut rum's really good too. It's just a lot of fun coming here. If we would have had the kids, you would have probably saw a lot more character interaction. Um, outside of Disney, this is one of the best places you can bring your kids to to have good character interactions with. They're very, very good with kids here. They bow to the kids. They bring them into things. So yeah. Mackenzie loves it. Yeah, if you're looking for an awesome trip here in Pennsylvania, we can't recommend the Renaissance Fair enough. If you like our videos, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, hit the, the what? Ring the vacation Ring bell. Ring the vacation bell. And hey guys, hey. hey, until our next video, thanks for watching.